So, this is the Volkswagen ID7. On the infotainment system, it is running the latest MIB4 software. Now, I feel like I need to review this infotainment system as a separate video as the previous MIB3 software was not that great, it was not easy to use. It was slow, sometimes unusable and the menu layout was not easy at all. Also, let's not forget the touch sensitive volume slider and climate control switches. Let's have a look and see what's different with this new software and let's see if it is better as this is going to be in all the new ID electric Volkswagens, the new Golf facelift, Passat Estate and the new Tiguan. So it can't fail this time round. Let's go. Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Carsamore. This is the number one place to be for car news and reviews. Sit back, buckle up, let's go. So, let's start with the layout on this new software. The whole design is quite like the previous software, but it has now been separated into three segments. We have the top segment, the middle segment, and the lower segment. The top segment has the apps drawer, five favourite buttons, the temperature and quick actions drop down menu, as well as the main information area. The middle segment is where everything happens. This houses the widgets on the home screen too and they have been laid out much better too. The lower section is where the climate control is. This does stay on the screen which is good this time round and it is a full width on the display rather than it being squashed up on the side like the previous software. This makes using the climate control much easier and much more logical too. So let's talk about the top segment first. On the far top right you have the menu button which houses all the apps that are available on this infotainment system. Next to that you have the vehicle button which is where all the vehicle functions are, for example all the safety systems and other features like the ambient lighting. Next to that you have the five favourite functions. These can be customised, for example, you could have parking assistant, climate control menu, media and navigation. This makes finding your five most used features very easy to do. You also have a drop down menu which is your control centre, a bit like what a phone has really. It houses Bluetooth what and Wi-Fi settings as well as other software settings, for example you can turn the screen off if you want to at night time. You can also change the brightness too from here, with just a slide of your finger. The middle section can be customised to what widgets you want on your home screen, again just like what any phone can do. The lower section, like I said before, is dedicated to the climate control system and is only for the climate control system apart from the home button just like what an old iPhone and iPad has. What this software also brings is an essential feature. This is a light up volume slider and even light up climate control sliders. This means changing the temperature or volume at night has just become a lot easier than before. The performance of the software is much better than before too and it is also a lot less buggier than much quicker with less delays from the press of the screen for it to it actually doing something. This means it feels much better and more modern to use. The layout is also very simple with easy to access menus and a logical placement of all the menus too. So let's have a look at the new features that this software has to offer. Now the MIB3 software introduced the Hey Volkswagen feature. At the start it wasn't the best but it did improve over time. The new software though does take it to a whole new level. On the MIB4 cars, it integrates ChatGPT for the first time. This means you can ask information about a landscape or building for example and it will give you a detailed explanation of it. It will also help on improving user experience and accuracy too, so we'll have to wait and see if it is actually a good idea or if it's just a gimmick. This software is also has other useful features like over the air updates as well as wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, just like what the previous version had. 
MIB4 software is also available on bigger screens too over the old MIB3 software. That's just like what we find in this Volkswagen ID7 with a 15 inch display. On the Volkswagen Golf Facelift for example, again it can be had in either a 15 inch display or a smaller 10 inch display, but both sizes are bigger than the previous MIB software screens. This means it can make use of the different sizes but also has more information on which is much better for the user. So in summary then, have Volkswagen finally listened to their buyers? Well, they have fixed the software, changed a few buttons to make life easier and overall for the car it makes it feel like a proper Volkswagen again and not a cheap German car which is what Volkswagen was getting to, especially with their build quality. The usability and the feel are now up there with other infotainment systems and this is one of the good infotainment systems out there and if you bought a car with this infotainment system you wouldn't have to worry about it like before. If you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.